YouTube channel. So, this is a very weird video, but it's a very necessary video. I'm actually on a time limit because I need to pack my suitcase. I just bought a new car, guys, so I'll be whipping it on the road. Whipping it on the road. But I need to drive down to Leicester. <sighs> Why am I doing this? But anyway, I just want to show you guys what I'm packing because I'm going to Barcelona. So guys, I decided to give you like a quick like close up of everything that I have, but I'll go into detail about why I have this and like why it's there, but this is just, oh, look at those underwear, <laughs> but this is just like what I've got like laid out. So basically guys, the whole purpose of this video, I need your help, like what to pack and what not to pack. By the time this is up, I want your uh, like advice basically, but yeah, this is what I've got out so far and I just want to know what would you guys wear in Barcelona? I need your help guys. Anyway. Let's get in the video. Okay guys, so the first thing, like, kind of the first thing that I'm taking with me <laughs> is these jeans that I'm wearing. Like, um, I'm gonna wear these driving down to Leicester and then I'm gonna pack them in my suitcase. But what outfit I'm actually wearing to the airport, I've got, you guys have seen this before when I went to London, like, my Chico. Turn it inside out, honey, so the people can see, okay? So basically, like, um, you guys have seen my little two-piece and the joggers. So that's what I'm wearing to the airport. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be a bit cheeky because I'm only allowed like a certain amount of kgs. So I'm gonna wear this on the way to like Barcelona. I'm only gonna wear it then, and then when I'm coming back to England, I'll wear it as well. So I don't really have to put it in my suitcase. So two for one, guys. Two for one. But yeah, these jeans, um, I'm gonna pack them when I get down to Leicester. But I actually took like this stripy top. It's kind of, is it a shirt or a top or a blouse? I don't know, but it's stripy and I like it. You guys have seen this. I think I've worn this on Instagram before. But yeah, I've taken this just in case it's cold and it's like three quarter sleeve. So I thought like, you know what? Barcelona may be a bit warm, I believe. Actually, I don't know. Because somebody tell me who lives in Barcelona what the weather's like tomorrow. <laughs> I kind of need to know. But if it's like a cold, chilly weather, I've decided to take this like blouse thing. And I've also got a jumper. What do you Americans call it? A fleece, jumper, whatever. But yeah, just in case it's a bit breezy and stuff, I've got like this white jumper just to put over everything. Also guys, these shoes, I'm gonna be wearing them down to Leston. I'm gonna wear them to the airport so they're not going in my bag. And also I'm gonna wear these when I'm coming back so they don't need to go in my bag. So the only shoes I'm actually packing in my bag are these little like sandaly flip flops. Should I bring them closer? Can you guys see? But yeah. That's what I'm actually packing in my suitcase. Okay guys, so the next thing that I have is this like bikini dress. So obviously, you know when you go to the beach, you're supposed to like have something to cover you. Dan actually bought this for me in Cuba, but I never got a chance to wear it. So I decided I'm gonna wear it now. It's just like this white knitted like dress that you put over your bikini. So yeah, that's just going with me as well. Do you guys think I should vlog? Should I vlog? Should I? Should I? Should I vlog my trip? Hmm, let me know. Okay guys, so I've decided to kind of like pack in outfits. So obviously that blue top and these jeans are like a backup outfit for like if it's a bit cold. But the first outfit, you guys have seen this in my Zaffal haul, Zaffal, Zaffal. I never got to wear it outside, but you know, if you're going to Barcelona, baby, you might as well wear it. But yeah, it's like this long flowy dress and it crisscrosses everywhere, oh my God. Check my Instagram, guys. When I come back from Barcelona, yeah, my Instagram's gonna be popping, popping. But yeah, let me just show this to you guys real quick. So, so this is a dress. It's quite long, and like I said, it is crisscrossed at the back. If you guys can see that, and it has like a long slit, like so. It's kind of sexy, you know what I mean? So it's got a long slit down here. So this is outfit choice number one. Oh, and if you guys haven't noticed, I'm not very good at packing. I'm literally just throwing them in because I don't know how to pack stuff. I really don't. So, guys, the second thing that I actually have is this dress that I just did in my recent haul. Um, you guys really like this blue dress. I decided, do you know what, yeah? When in Rome, do as the Romans. So, I'm taking this blue dress. It is so cute. So, yeah, that is outfit choice number three. Guys, I'm so excited to go to Barcelona. Like, anybody who's been to Barcelona or lives in Barcelona, can you guys, like, recommend places for me to go? Oh, 
I didn't even tell you. So, I'm going to Barcelona with my sister and my mom because it was my mom's 50th birthday. So, my sister booked a trip for her. I was kind of like an add on because she invited me. I was like, oh, I'm broke. I don't want to go. So, then uh, my mom was like, oh, okay, I'll pay for you to go. I was like, free trip. So, yeah, basically, um, I'm excited. I just want to see what Barcelona looks like. What is the food like in Barcelona? Write down below. Let me know. Okay guys, so like the last outfit choice that I have is this black like mesh crop top. Let me bring it closer. It's like a mesh long sleeved crop top. And I'm gonna wear that with this long skirt. It was in my recent fashion haul as well. So yeah, I really love this skirt and I think it will go so nice with this like black crop top and like my sandals. So that's like another outfit as well. But yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, so guys, I am nearly done. I'm sorry if I look like a hot mess, like, why are black people so late? They're always just so late. But yeah, okay. So the next thing I've got, I just got these, like, well, they're not mine, they're Dan's. He's like, I need shorts. I'm going to use those as pajamas because I can't find my other pajamas. So straight in my basket. And then I just got this, like, um, old white vest that I used to have, like, shirt vest. See that? And I'm just going to use that as, like, my pajama top, 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 top 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 i'm gonna use this as my pajama top for when i'm over there okay so the next thing i have i have my blue little like puff puff that i used to shower with so i put it in a plastic bag purely because i showered and it's a bit wet and i didn't have time to go get a new one for me to fly with so i just hope they don't stop me at customs thinking i'm trying to smuggle something in hmm i don't know but yeah so i took my little blue puff puff with me that's going in my little section here what do you even use this section for toiletries right it's a toiletry section i think so okay so the next thing i have is this watermelon bag my mother-in-law actually bought this for me for christmas because it came with like bath bombs and stuff but in here i put like my toiletries yeah so what i have is my toothbrush toothpaste wipes and you guys know i only use black soap right I didn't have time to go to the shop because you know when you're carrying soap you have to put it in like one of those like soap things I didn't have time so I'm being like proper proper like black <laughs> so I put it in like a plastic bag but they're not gonna stop me for that are they I hope not I really hope not and then I've got a shaver one interesting tip for you guys if you want to save on like your milliliters or your liquids get solid deodorant i only use natural deodorant anyway so mine is like a sea salt and earth it's travel size and it's solid so it doesn't count as like my liquids because i believe we're flying um our airline you're not allowed to have stuff more than 100 milliliters so that's why i'll explain that later so i do want to take like a liquid roll-on deodorant so i took like my solid one instead and then I just have some toothpicks because you need to floss when you're abroad, okay? Just because you're abroad doesn't mean your hygiene stops, okay? So yeah, that's what's in my toiletry bag. Okay guys, so the next thing I packed was my makeup. One thing I want to struggle with, because I said everything has to be under 100 milliliters, when I get to the airport, I'm going to have to unpack all my liquids and put them in like their clear plastic bag and I'm only allowed one bag. So um, I've tried to take as little liquids as possible. So I think the only liquids I have is mascara, uh, setting spray lipstick foundation and concealer i think creams count as well so i think my eyebrow thing i'm gonna have to take out as well but the rest is just like powders or brushes so that should be fine okay so the last little mini bag i have is this cute little thing <laughs> so you may be wondering what's inside so this cream is my Aveeno for like my body. I've got some mouthwash. I've got some perfume. I am so lucky for Christmas that Dan bought me like um, that new Emporium Amarni lipstick kit thing. And it came with like a smaller version of the big one. So luckily it's under 100 milliliters. So at least I can smell nice in Barcelona. And then this little tub right here is just like some Eco Styler gel because your girl's edges, whew, they need to be snatched. They need to be laid, do you know what I mean? And... I am so pissed off about this. But did you know that if you wear contacts or you have contact lens solution, it has to be under 100 milliliters? I was so shocked. So obviously I, I wear dailies. So I'm assuming this is not going to be more than 100 milliliters. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm only going for four days. But, you know, it's always better to be safe than sorry in case I drop one. But yeah, I hope they don't stop me like a customs about my contact lenses. But this is so handy. If you guys are traveling like short haul, is that what it's called? Long haul, short haul short haul like short short flights 
yeah i bought this in uh body care i think it was only like two pounds and it came with three bottles and three of these little small things so i still got extra stuff that i could put into it but i don't really need it but yeah if you're ever traveling get yourself one of these it makes life so much easier so much easier okay guys so the last like clothing items i have i've got the bra that i'm wearing now and then i've got like another bra that i'm taking with me does anybody else overpack underwear i'm gonna go for four days but i'll count right now i've got one two three four five six six pairs of underwear i just feel like underwear is one of those things that you have to overpack because you can never be too safe do you know what i mean like you may want to shower twice in a day or something like that but yeah six pairs of underwear more than enough also i've got my little bandana because you know your girl cannot sleep without a bandana on her head okay us black people we know you can't just put your head on a pillow and sleep no you need to wrap your head at night time so yeah i've got this Okay, so I'm only taking one bikini with me because I think we're only going to the beach once. But the bikini I have, it was in, ooh, which haul was it? It was in one of my haul videos. It's this like African print one. I just loved this bikini and I love the size because of like this little thing right here. And obviously it's got the top as well. So I'm only taking one bikini and it's this one. So I just took one of my old Pandora boxes and inside, oh god, ooh. It's all come out. So obviously when I'm swimming and stuff, I'm going to put my ring in here so I don't lose it. But inside, Dan got me these for Christmas. So he got me like these two earrings and a necklace. So if you guys can see that. So yeah, I think it's just so convenient just to take a small little box to put your jewelry in so you don't lose it and it's all like contained. So I'm taking that as well. Okay guys, last but not least, I did want to take a backpack but I don't think I'm allowed with my KG. So I'm just going to take this cute little red bag that Dan bought for me. I love this bag. So this is what I'm just going to use like on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm there. So inside the bag, I'll show you what I'm putting in. So inside, I've got my purse and I put my passport in my purse because I feel like Nobody ever forgets their purse, but they forget their passport. So yeah, passport handy. And I've got my euros in there and my ID and my bank card. Guys, major key, lip balm. This counts as like liquids because it's a cream. Can you believe this? Because it's a cream, it counts as my liquids. I'm just fuming. I just, airplanes, why do they do this to us? Why? Why, why, why? Okay, so I've got my lip balm. And then I've got some Gaviscon. You guys know I have bad, like, acid reflux. So I need, like, my acid reflux tablets. So I've got those in there. And I've just got some paracetamol as well because I get headaches quite a lot. And there's nothing worse than getting a headache on holiday. So, yeah. And then last thing I have, headphones. Headphones. Oh, and then I'm going to put my phone charger in here because my phone is charging as well. And my phone. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little quick pack with me. I'm going on holiday little video. I thought it would be nice, you know, just to like hear your opinions. Like, would you guys wear this dress? Would you guys not? I still have time before I leave. So, if you are like any comments, write them down below and like switch something up my suitcase or take that out. You know what I mean? But yeah, guys, I'm so excited to go to Barcelona. The last time I was on holiday was when I went to Cuba. So, I just need a holiday. So, yeah, guys, if anyone's in Barcelona, if they've been to Barcelona, please write down any recommendations that you have, any great places to eat, and so on and so on. But yeah. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to vlog. I've decided. I'm not going to carry my camera or my laptop or my charges and stuff. I'm going to kick it old school. You know, when I used to film YouTube, I used to do it on my phone. So, yeah, I'm just going to carry my phone and just vlog as much as I can. So, if you guys want me to vlog and you're looking forward to those vlogs, write it down below and I'll do that for you. But, I'm so scared of flying. Guys, I have a phobia of flying, but it's Barcelona. Who cares? But, yeah, okay, I'll see you guys in Barcelona, I guess. Bye, guys.